Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Chemistry Quest. This is the 20th lecture in solution series. In this video, we will be discussing the concept of solubility of a gas in a liquid. Let's get started. So, what is solubility? Solubility of a substance is its maximum amount that can be dissolved in a specified amount of solvent at a specified temperature. It depends upon the nature of solute and solvent as well as temperature and pressure. Solubility of a gas in a liquid. Many gases dissolved in water. Oxygen dissolves only to a small extent in water. It is this dissolved oxygen which sustains all aquatic life. On the other hand, hydrogen chloride gas is highly soluble in water. Solubility of gases in liquids is greatly affected by pressure and temperature. The solubility of gases increase with increase of pressure. Let's see what is Henry's law. Henry was the first to give a quantitative relationship between pressure and solubility of gas in a solvent which is known as Henry's law. The law states that at a constant temperature, the solubility of a gas is in a liquid is directly proportional to the partial pressure of the gas present above the surface of the liquid or solution. Dalton, a contemporary of Henry, also concluded independently that the solubility of a gas in a liquid solution is a function of partial pressure of the gas. If we use the mole fraction of a gas in the solution as a measure of its solubility, then it can be said that the mole fraction of gas in the solution is proportional to the partial pressure of the gas over the solution. The most commonly used form of Henry's law states that the partial pressure of the gas in vapor phase is proportional to the mole fraction of the gas in the solution and mole fraction of the gas is represented as small x and is represented as P is equal to KHx where KH is the Henry's law constant. Let's see a graph. So, if you draw a graph between partial pressure of the gas versus mole fraction of the gas in solution, then we should get a plot of the type as shown in the above figure. So, partial pressure of HCl is measured in TOR and it is represented on y-axis and mole fraction of HCl in its solution in cyclohexane is represented on x-axis. Let's draw some inferences out of it. So, in this column gas, there are different gases like helium, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen and temperature is measured in Kelvin. So, temperature is 293 up to nitrogen, then nitrogen at 303, then oxygen is 293 and oxygen 303. Different value of Henry's constant is measured and gas temperature and KH bar. Different gases are taken at different temperature and pressure. So, different gases have different KH values at the same temperature table given above. This suggests that KH is a function of the nature of the gas. The higher the value of KH at a given pressure, the lower is the solubility of gas in the liquid. It can be seen that KH values for both nitrogen and oxygen increase with increase of temperature, indicating that the solubility of gases increases with decrease of temperature. It is due to this reason that aquatic species are more comfortable in cold waters rather than in warm waters. So, let's see effect of temperature on solubility of a gas in liquid. Solubility of gases in liquids decreases with rise in temperature. When dissolved, the gas molecules are present in liquid phase and the process of dissolution can be considered similar to condensation and heat is evolved in this process. Dissolution process involves dynamic equilibrium and thus must follow leach atlas principle. As dissolution is an exothermic process, the solubility should decrease with increase of temperature. So if you like my video, please hit the like button, share with your friends, subscribe my YouTube channel and don't miss to hit the notification bell for upcoming videos. Thank you and have a good day.